Hi, it's Wayne from howtofish.com.au fishing the Maribyrnong River this morning. You can see it's absolutely like glass. Amazing conditions. Bottom of the tide at the moment. Hopefully it'll, it'll be starting to move up soon. We're hoping that the fishing really improves. At the moment it's been pretty quiet. So I've just pressed my burley into the burley cage. This is a running burley cage. As you can see it's got a bit of lead on there. 60 grams worth of lead which makes my sinker. So it's a running sinker down to a small hook a little bit of chicken on it that's all you need and the fish here are certainly taking these small hooks the next thing is you've got to try and cast at the same spot each time which gets a bit challenging Just caught this nice little nice little brim here and I went really small I went a size 16 hook whoa if I can get this in yeah. so this brim back in the water and it's not a bad size fish in here whoa. so I've just got this little mullet here in fact that's not too small a mullet so that's quite nice as well so little piece of chicken there and a small hook 60 gram burley cage bit of burley brings a fish in this one struck as soon as I cast in so they're obviously near the burley I bet this is a mullet too feels like a mullet yeah there we go okay so smaller than the other one but yeah that one struck straight away this in a bit of a wind now so it's harder to hit the same spot there we go ah oh, and there's a cormorant coming up to my fishing spot get out of there so I'm just totally unprepared to pick up on this one and uh, of course I get a strike and yes it's another mullet okay well there you go so the mullet are coming in a bit Okay, this one came in a bit. We're missing bites because we're not focused on things. And another mullet. Okay. Oh. oh well, another mullet. Now, this one struck as it hit bottom. So I can't believe that. I didn't even have a chance to put the rod down. And I got another mullet. If I can get him out. Yes. Not a bad sized mullet either. Oh, wow. So this is the fourth mullet. Let that hit bottom. Okay, there we go. At times, the bites would slow down. One of the things you can do is just add a different flavor. So I'm using the same bait, chicken, but I'm putting it into one of my bait dips. This then adds a different flavor, something that might attract the fish. I had to go down to small hooks to catch these fish. And what I did is used my spicy chicken bait dip to add to this little tiny piece of chicken that I was using. But it's really interesting. The flavor, the spicy chicken flavor would permeate in the water column, adding more attraction to the bait that I had. Then of course, combined with the burley and getting it out to the same spot, really made a difference on attracting the fish. And it did at times help when the, uh, the bite slowed right down. Now, unfortunately, what happened next was that I hooked into a, a really good fish. So that was good. But unfortunately, as I played it, I knocked my hat off my head. The camera went off. And when I put it back on, I got the worst filming you could possibly get as I tried to actually measure this fish. In the mouth. Oh, my goodness. 
he's actually bigger than the scales he goes beyond that's 37 38 oops 37 38 his tail the tip of his tail goes beyond that by another couple of centimeters that's 38 39 maybe whoops okay so let's let's be very accurate about this we're saying that he is whoops 40 the snapper Okay, so I've just, I've just landed this one. This came in by surprise. Once again, I wasn't ready, but uh, these are not a bad size fish, actually. So I'm pretty happy about this. Good. Let's down. Very hard to strike into. I think I might have just managed to hook onto this one. I did. Yes, finally. Wow. So, as the days got later, the bites have been very, very tentative. So, finally got this one. Okay. Now, we hadn't had a bite for ages, and then suddenly I got this really good pull around on my larger rod. This is the one I got the snapper on before, and this feels like one as well. It's in close, which is what happened last time, but just be careful. The line I've got is not super heavy, but this is another pinky. It's, it is a pinky this time, it's smaller, but a pinky nonetheless. Okay, so there you go. We'll measure this one just for the sake of finding out how big it is. Whoops. Okay, we would say, what did you say? 32? Yep. 32. Not bad. This one can go back. It's taken a long time now to catch this best part of the day is gone and now we're getting really small fish like this and they're very hard to catch so probably going to be the end for me remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and for all of the gear and tactics I'm using go to my website howtofish.com.au see you next time